Hi everybody, today we have a unique video. You are going to see an insight into one of central London's largest landlords. They have nearly 14 acres of mixed use buildings in Fitzrovia. That is very unusual and we're gonna have a really good look and feel around some buildings and also understand what their plans are for the future. Really hope you enjoy this one. for the coming few years, do you think, for the Langham Estate? So at the moment we've got a rolling programme of refurbishment of a number of our buildings, including the common parts. We recognise the market's change and also the tenant dynamics. They want ready to move in into space. Got plug and play. Plug and play, exactly. What do we consider cat to be? What, what, there's a lot of cats out there in the yes. world. What's uh, well, cat From our point of view, cat is basically a clean, open plan, refurbished floor with air conditioning, perimeter trunking, so new floor. Ready for someone to come in. Re ready for a tenant identity. to move in, create their own identity. Plug and play, or cat A plus, as it's often known as, or cat A, cat B, is the B element is actually the furniture, the fit out, the partitions and the plug and play essentially in terms of connectivity. So what we're offering is an opportunity for a tenant to move straight in, bums on seats, Got ready you. to go. And I think also it's, it's, it's ready, move in. Absolutely. You plug your computers in, you're ready to go. This is an example of a cat A floor. Um, so you're upstairs on the full floor looking at our plug and play. This is the alternative option, which is basically a clear open plan floor ready to go. So if you have got a client that's looking just for a clear open plan, ready to occupy space, so you can then lay out the accommodation for their own requirements, this is it. So we're on Marketplace, which is yeah. almost the hub, the centre, I call it, of the Fitzrovia area, obviously really close to Oxford Street. What, what, what do you own around here? I know you've got the long lease hold on this one. Right, left, uh, you? correct. Uh, our client is the freeholder of this, this big building, which is Kent House. Got you. Uh, we also own this building here where we've got Honest Burger. So Honest Burger. Uh, and also got uh, Island Pokey next door to that. And the one around the corner. Uh, we've just let uh, Portland House's ground floor basement, which was previously occupied by Co. Uh, marketplace bar, another tenant of ours. So this and is also one of yours. Yeah, Six, and eight on, to ten a. Yeah, Great Portland yeah, Street, which is the corner of Marketplace or Great Portland Street. Correct. So Boohoo, uh, very well known online fashion retailer, fast fashion. For those that follow us will know, 10 Great Castle Street. We've had over 10,000 views of that video of this amazing headquarters building. Burger and Lobster, very well known restaurant chain in London. Another one we're on, Little Portland Street here. Correct. On the uh, eastern side of it, as it runs across. Yeah. And these guys have been here a long time, actually. I'd say, what, eight years? Yeah, they're eight pretty years. well established here. The price of Lobster might have gone up, <laughs> but they've still stayed strong and mm -hmm. we've still got this location. So what I'm interested to know is, now how many yeah. buildings are there? How many buildings on the estate? It's about 100 buildings, 13.8 acres. It's a fairly eclectic mix of properties and tenants. Is there like a 10 year goal? Do you, do you, see, do you see any, so, or what you've already told us? Do you right. see anything changing? So, so I, I think obviously we've seen huge change uh, as a result of the pandemic. And as a result of that, the business has to change and adapt. And that is something that we're putting in place now, which is the rolling refurbishment program, tenant retention, closer working relationship with ten tenants. As I've already said, it's very much a symbiotic relationship. Yeah. And we recognize that we're in a much more dynamic environment where we have to be able to offer, to the change, to offer what's going much on more flexibility, 
Historically, it was, used to be three, five, 10, 15 year leases. Now, it's much more flexible. We can offer anything between six months and 15 years. And t tell me about retail, because obviously I presume retail has probably suffered the greatest during um, lockdowns. O Oxford Street is clearly, we've got a, quite a substantial holding on Oxford Street and we have seen a huge yeah. change in Oxford Street. And also the lockdown and tourists not being able to come to, to London, we've seen a handbrake on retailers taking space on Oxford Street. And so Oxford Street is actually going through a rebirth. Coffee, the most important part of our day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So we talked about retail, we've talked about yeah. offices, just on the restaurant side, I know we've touched on restaurants. Yeah. What have you seen, like trend-wise? Forget, forget COVID for a minute. The coming and going of restaurants and that churn and that constant, you know, they succeed at the beginning and don't, you know, what have you seen that maybe that, that's new, that's up and coming, that's coming to your estate? I, I, I think I think a great example of it is uh, what we call competitive socialising. Okay. And a good example of that will be Sixes in Great Great Portland Street, okay. which is basically indoor bowling. Okay. Uh, so, so, social, so social cricket, indo indoor cricket, basically. Okay. And I think what we're finding now is restaurant operators are looking at ways to keep us more entertained, for us to be more interactive with people that we go out with, and to have more of a fun evening and make it a longer evening. It's not a question of just going for dinner. It's a question of having a whole evening, an event with friends. So this is the Smith building, the occupier of this is, a, of the whole building is the office group TOG, who are a service office, one of the best service office companies definitely in this country, in the UK. And the reason it's called the Smith building, Malcolm, tell me more. It actually is more about the heritage of the building. Okay. So before that, it, it wasn't called the Smith's building. Everyone used to, used to refer to as the finest building, which was a firm of solicitors used to be in this building for, for forever and ever. And when the building came back, it was a very 80s refurbishment that, that when Tom got the building back. And they decided to shoot the building, refurbish it. And as part of their, their refurbishment, they went and looked at the heritage of the property. And they actually discovered that it was actually used by Smith Industries. And Smith Industries were renowned for their accelerators on car dashboards. So when so you look, look at the, the when feature. you look at the front here, the, this is almost like the the, the, the front speedometer. Speedometer, exactly. We're going to cut to another Tog building now, also, uh, which is also on their estate. Back at the other Tog building and then the office group, and they have taken over this whole building. Tell me if I'm wrong, but they've let it to uh, BP. Correct. Correct. Another great example of sort of a plug and play opportunity which, where a serviced office company have come along, found a single tenant and let the whole lot in one go and a sign of the market which Malcolm was talking about earlier, sign of the changing office world. It's also more of a, a managed office scenario rather than just pure plug and play. So on the corner of Great Titchfield and Mortimer Street, Gilmore House, which is a serviced office stroke incubator for the Langham Estate. So they can put some startups and different variety of businesses there. Eventually they move into the leasing Yeah, site. I mean, we absolutely see it as, a, as a, a building that a lot of tenants need in terms of, as you said, startups, uh, flexible office space, uh, quick in, quick out. But also we see it as an incubator for the business, for the for the estate really. So what, two desks, five desks, ten desks? Yeah, uh, it could be an entire business. floor. But um, what we have seen is a number of these tenants that when their businesses start expanding, they then move, they grow up and move to something a bit, a little bit more permanent. So instead of sort of a three month, six month, 12 months, they then start to talk, talking about two, three, five year leases. So then they, why wouldn't they come to us and expand within our portfolio and take additional space so that's where we see Gilmore House sitting as well. So again mix, mixing up the use of different Correct. properties and, and ultimately you pay per desk per month you know a desk rate effectively yeah, which yeah, is uh, yeah. highly flexible which is really useful. Have you have you had offers that have been offers over the years I, I, to purchase it? I think we get <laughs> daily approaches. Really? Who wouldn't want to buy a prime bit of real estate in central London? Who's going to get hold of 13.8 acres in central London? We have no intention of selling. Because it's such prime central London and it's an array, it's a mixed portfolio, it's always yeah. something that you think 
people would be interested in. But as you say, you've got no need to sell it. The value's no, increasing. No need so. to sell. And also, it is a fantastic piece of real estate in central London, prime real estate. And who wouldn't want a piece of it? So a big thank you to Langham Estate. We really hope you enjoyed that episode. If you have any need for commercial space in this part, Fitzrovia and NoHo in London, no doubt they'll have a solution for you. So please do let us know and like, subscribe and follow. Thank you.